Okay, so let, let's talk about urea cycle. Um, the first thing we have to understand is that urea cycle is divided into um, two, two parts. One is the mitochondrial part, the other one is cytosol part. All right, so let's discuss the mitochondria part first because that's what does come first. It starts up with bicarb, okay? And two ATP and ammonia. It starts up with bicarb, two ATP and ammonia. And these form this will form um, a substance called CP or carbamyl phosphate. Okay. This will form a substance called carbamyl phosphate. And this is going to take part by an enzyme, this conversion from bicarb to ATP and ammonia to carbamyl phosphate. This process takes place uh, with the help of an enzyme called CPS1 or carbamyl phosphate synthetase 1. It's very simple in that sense because it's like synthetase is forming this carbamyl phosphate. One more thing we have to understand is the ammonia. Where is that coming from? Ammonia is coming from glutamate. Okay. Okay, glutamate is giving us this ammonia. And um, in the process, it's also making something called alpha ketoglutarate. And this, this process is also making 1NADH. This, is, this process is also making 1NADH from NAD. And this enzyme which converts glutamate to ammonia, alpha ketoglutarate, and uh, NADH. This enzyme is called glutamate dehydrogenase. This enzyme is called glutamate dehydrogenase. Are you with me so far? I hope so. Moving on to CP. So now we are again at CP, so that was the first step. Now we are CP carbamyl phosphate. Now the next substance that's going to form, we're still in the mitochondria though. So I'm going to draw maybe a less thicker line to signify that we're still in mitochondria, just step two. So we're still dealing with CP, and now this CP is going to give us another substance and that name of the substance is citrulline okay and it's going to give us so c for c citrulline cp is becoming citrulline it kind of helps me remember another substance that cp is using here is ornithin this ornithin is actually recycled from the cytoplasm. So this is actually coming from the cytoplasm. Okay, and the name of the enzyme which does this entire process is ornithin transcarbamylase. Okay, ornithin transcarb. All right, so that is ornithine transcarbamylase. Now we have citrulline in our hand. This citrulline is going to now enter the cytosol. So this ends the mitochondrial section of the urea cycle. Now we are talking about cytosol and now we have citrulline. Um, I always had a hard time remembering urea cycle, so I came up with a mnemonic which helped me remember. Okay, so I'm not going to write down the entire words, I'm just going to write down the mnemonic because that's what I have to remember at the end of the day. So the mnemonic was C 
and at the bottom CA followed by FA together CAFA and then sorry about that CAFA U O okay C stood for citrulline A stood for arginine succinate C A fumarate and arginine is F A U is urea and O is only thing that's the only thing that's recycled up now CA this process forms an enzyme called arginosuccinate synthetase so this process is C to C to A this process we need an enzyme okay we need an enzyme and that enzyme is AS so from this step to this step, from this step to this step, we need an enzyme with AS. It's from A to FA. For this step to that step, we need an enzyme called AL. So you see a similarity, AS, AL. And from FA to UO, this is uh, achieved by an enzyme called A. Okay, so that's the that's the little um little helper that I had to remember. So C is citrulline. C is becoming A. A is arginosuccinate. And this process is achieved by an enzyme, arginosuccinate synthetase. Okay, arginosuccinate synthetase. Now A is becoming fumarate and arginine. And this process is achieved by an enzyme, arginosuccinate lyase. Arginosuccinate lies. Now fumarate and aspartate. Fumarate and sorry, fumarate and arginine. Here, arginine only is going to become urea and ornithine. Arginine alone is going to become urea and ornithine. And this process is achieved by arginase. A for arginase. So A S A L A C A F A U O A S A L A. Okay, so let's go through it slowly. C is for citrulline, which is give, giving us um, arginine. Oh, sorry, arginosuccinate. And this is achieved by the enzyme arginosuccinate synthetase. This process also is going to give off, it's going to take one ATP from citrulline to arginosuccinate. Okay, this process is also going to take up. 1 ATP. So I'm going to write ATP. Okay. And also, one more substance is going to meet here, and that substance is aspartate. Okay, aspartate. And this aspartate is coming inside the cytosol by the help of malate aspartate shuttle. Okay, so this is coming by the help of malate aspartate shuttle. Okay, so citrulline is becoming arginosuccinate by the enzyme arginosuccinate synthetase, but at the same time it's also using ATP and aspartate. And aspartate is coming here using the using the shuttle malate aspartate shuttle. Now we are in this step. Okay, step number two. Now we have arginosuccinate becoming mean fumarate and as fumarate and arginine, and that enzyme needs arginosuccinate lies, and that is the way it is. There is no change with that. Then fumarate and arginine, only arginine is giving off urea and ornithine, and um, and the enzyme is arginase that also doesn't need anything. This only thing is not going to go up all the way and take part in this equation right here. Carbamyl phosphate plus only thing forming citrulline. Okay. All right. Um, okay. And also, I want to talk about a little bit of the about the glutamate. The glutamate here, glutamate one way it became ammonia. It gave off alpha ketoglutarate and gave one NADH. On the other hand, this glutamate 
can also get okay, this good to me can also give um, alpha ketoglutarate it combines with oxaloacetate okay it combines with oxaloacetate giving off alpha ketoglutarate again and the enzyme that it needs while doing all this is aspartic transaminase as part of transaminase that's going on the other direction, it can, it can give us alpha ketoglutarate and aspartate. Okay. All right, so let's go over this really quickly. Bicarb combining with 2 ATP and ammonia is forming carbamyl phosphate by, the, by using the enzyme CPS1. Um, CPS, and then we have carbamyl phosphate. Oh, so the ammonia is coming from glutamate, which at the same time is also giving off uh, alpha ketoglutarate and NADH, and they're using the enzyme glutamate dehydrogenase. If you want to continue with glutamate, glutamate can also combine with oxaloacetate using the enzyme aspartate transaminase. It can give alpha ketoglutarate and aspartate. Okay, so coming back to citrulline. Um, Carbamyl phosphate, sorry. Now carbamyl phosphate can give off citrulline using the enzyme uh, ornithine transcarbamylase because carbamyl phosphate can combine with ornithine. Um, and this, this process um, uh, right, this, sorry, the cytoplasm is obviously coming from the ornithine. Ornithine is coming from the cytoplasm inside the mitochondria. I got confused for a little second. Why does it have cytoplasm here? So carbamyl phosphate can, can combine with ornithine to, to give citrulline, and they use the enzyme ornithine transcarbamylase. Um, now, the citrulline enters the cytosol, combines with ATP, combines with aspartate, which is coming from the mallet aspartate shuttle. Only the aspartate is coming from this shuttle. And we have the CAFAUO. So CA, this is achieved by the enzyme arginosuccinate synthetase. A, or arginosuccinate to fumarate, and arginine is achieved by arginosuccinate lyase. And arginine is given urea and ornithine by the, using the enzyme arginase. This only thing is going all the way up in the mitochondria and becoming part of carbamyl phosphate, giving citrulline, which is in the second step right here. Okay, so that's all about urea cycle. Please visit my blog if you want these notes. Uh, or please subscribe or like this video so that I have some encouragement. And if you have a comment or if you want to add something to it, please uh, leave me a comment. Right? And Okay, one more thing is that glutamate can become GLAB, GABA too. So glutamate can become GABA. And they use the enzyme, um, so they use the enzyme glutamate decarboxylase. Okay, and they can form GABA. Alright, okay. Anyways, so I rambled on and on. Um, I'll see you in my next video where I talk about the disease associations with the urea cycle. Bye for now.